Tapas, or small plates, is the way to eat here in Sevilla. And there isn't a bar in town that won't serve you an array of delicious food on small plates. But to get a real insider's view, I joined up with Maria, a lifelong resident of Sevilla and a local foodie, and she took us into the outer neighborhoods to sample some real local tapas bars. Come on along. Since I'm pathologically early for everything from airplane flights to dental appointments, we arrived at the meeting spot, Plaza del Salvador, well over an hour early. It was just before Holy Week, so there was plenty of activity to keep us amused. In 2008, I brought my oldest son Matt over to help me cover Holy Week here for a magazine story. And it was an amazing assignment. Since the door to the Collegial Church of Salvador was open, Peggy and I slipped into the courtyard only to find volunteers preparing the silver and gold scepters for the upcoming Holy Week processions. These elaborate columns, along with huge statues of Christ and the Saints, are carried by the hooded penitents throughout the city, all during Holy Week. That holiday was still weeks away, but our tapas crawl was about to begin, so we joined the group. Our guide Maria is charming and ebullient, and she set us up with either a beer or a local treat Tinto de Verano con Naranja, a red wine cooler made with the juice from local oranges. While we sip, Maria ordered a variety of tapas from the hole in the wall bar. And uh, in the inside is uh, Baroque and the outside is Mannerist, okay? It's worth it to, to visit and if you're visiting the cathedral with the same ticket, you're entitled to visit this place as well, okay? It's quite interesting. The tapas were delicious and we were off to a great start. Our next stop was further out into the neighborhoods, and besides some more tasty tapas, Maria wanted us to try some dry sherry, but not the kind your grandmother drinks. And what I would like you to try here first is manzanilla wine. Mm -hmm. That's okay, because actually most of the sherry wines are dry, very dry. And we're going to try the driest one, okay? So, here you have all the, uh, well, the five main kinds, I would say. The sherry wines, okay? Mastanilla, Fino, uh, Amontillado, Oloroso, and Palo Cortado, okay? So, all these are made with the same grape, that is Palomino grape, okay? And this is, uh, well, and, you know, you, they are made normally in Jerez. Okay, this is Caña de Lomo. Similar to chorito, actually, because they use the same elements, paprika, garlic, and salt. But this is the noble part of the of the of the product. The dry manzanilla sherry was a revelation, and the tapas just kept on coming. Maria was a font of information about the history and architecture of the neighborhoods. Our group was made up of people of diverse ages, backgrounds, and nationalities. But by this time, we were more like a bunch of chatty friends than a tour of strangers which I attribute to Maria's ability to put everyone at ease, as well as the food and drink. White wines, but I would like, you to, uh, I would like to offer you a uh, white wine from El Condado de Huelva. Condado de Huelva is certification of origin from Andalusia. Huelva is a province that you have between uh, Sevilla and Portugal. Okay, so it's in the middle. This is Bayoyo cheese. Yes. Okay. 
So payoya cheese is an Andalusian cheese. And so this is payoya, is a breed of goat. Okay? And a breed of goat, payoya. <laughs> and it's from a, um, a town and area in Cali. Okay, you see Cali in the south. And so this kind of breed of goat, uh, payoya goat, uh, gives a milk for this cheese. This is half sheep, half goat. Okay? And this is has the, a little bit of the acidity of the goat. Our final stop wasn't a bar or restaurant at all. Instead, it was the clubhouse of a local civilian football team. So, this is a football association. You see, it's an association to support a team. In Seville, the uh, football, well, as in Spain, is very important, very, 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 very important. And in Seville, we have two teams, okay, with a very strong rivality. But, yeah. So, this is the oldest football association in Spain. This was opened and founded in 1927. Now, I don't know how good a football team they were, but the club served fabulous tapas. This is our first tapas, spinach with chickpeas, okay? This is the most typical civilian tapa, the most typical. Not long ago, you couldn't find it anywhere else, okay? All in Seville. Now, I know that you find it in Granada as well. It was a lovely afternoon with our newfound friends and our superb guide, and it gave Peggy and I a basis to explore the city's tapas scene on our own, which we did happily during the rest of our stay here. 